Well, what's up? This your boy Manny Fresh, and you watching Hip Hop DX. You hurt? In the very beginning, I didn't plan on staying behind the scenes. You know, after leaving Cash Money or whatever, it was just uh, like just a couple of events that happened in my life. You know, because when I left them, I had um. The first thing I had was the Jeezy record that jumped off. Then I had a lot of success with T.I. that jumped off. And then I had some things happen in my life that was kind of just life changing. You know, me losing my sister or whatever. I just kind of felt like I didn't want to do music. I don't know. You know, you don't know when when stuff like that hits you, you know, how it makes you feel or whatever. So I had to press reset on life. And I got back into DJing and DJing made me connect with people and what was going on in the world and you know vice versa or whatever and all kind of stuff and that's what brought me back to you know what I'm doing. I never meant to drop out of it. I just had real life moments that happened in life. When, um, with BG I talked to his mom and I talked to his auntie but I haven't talked to him in a while but you know I always post things on my page because you know that's a part of Manny Fresh DNA. That's what you know. That's what I do. You think you'll do something with him when uh, we get? Hell that? yeah! There's no thinking about it. Like you know what I'm saying? That's already understood. I mean, if dude get out tomorrow, we will be in the studio tomorrow. You know, and I'm talking about BG. When when I say EDM, it's it's not fist pump EDM. It's more of what what I did. Like you know what I'm saying? I kind of think. Even EDM is kind of like an extension. EDM trap is an extension of what Manny Fresh did. Like you know what I'm saying. So my 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 EDM is more of like future trap. Like you know what I'm saying. But it's it's it's, it's different from just how a hip hop song would sound. So it wasn't hard to do. I just felt like a lot of EDM cats took some of the things that I did and, and you know and they and they inquired some of the elements and changed it around a little bit and then they was just like oh we'll 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 say EDM so I'm gonna go with just a title like you know what I'm saying so I don't even really consider those songs EDM but the world will say EDM because in my mind I'm thinking like uh ASAP and Skrillex like that exactly uh, okay exactly that's what I that's it, it is exact it's kind of in that realm the invitation has been um reached out to Wayne. I'm not going to say that he's going to do it, but it has been there, you know, because everybody know like, you know, him and Baby got legal battles or whatever, but I'm truly hoping that we could just kind of leave that part of it out of it and just give the people that grew up on us like, you know, something legendary. Um, I'm not saying it's going to happen that way, but we we still going to do it, but I was the one who reached out to Wayne and said, I would appreciate it, dude, if you could. But if he can, I understand. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, we're going to keep it like real men or whatever. But if it don't happen, you know, we, we still got to do what we got to do because a lot of people grew up on cash money and they want this. And the epic thing about it is the cash money Rough Riders tour was the one that kind of put this thing in perspective. So I was like, we got to get DMX. You know what I'm saying? We got to call Swiss. We got to get people like that. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's one of them things that is the people that you grew up in that era. That's who we want on this tour. So are you telling me that you've reached out to, to uh, DMX, maybe Swiss? Yes. And is that actually something that might happen? Uh, yeah. Another Cash Money Rough Riders? Yes, yes. From that, we, we hope in Eve. Like, you know what I'm saying? We want it to be that Cash Money Rough Riders tour. You're going to have the helicopter on station. <laughs> Listen, I'm looking for that. That was the first thing I inquired about. I was like, where is that helicopter? Like, I'm like, we need all of that. It's got to be, you know, reminiscent to the people that grew up and that changed their life. Real talk, I'm hoping that I could be the medium. I get that Wayne got to get his money, but I'm hoping that I could be the middle person that resolve it. You know what I'm saying? I'm hoping that in real life, like, I could be the person to say, like, how can we fix this? How can we all like sit at one table, break bread, and, and do something epic again. Any progress on that so far? Or? Um, I think it could happen. You know, I'm, I'm not, could, because I talked to both of them. I talked to, you know what I'm saying? And you know, so I think it could happen. This is weird about New Orleans, I gotta tell you this. Um, We might not get along and agree on things like when it comes to issues or whatever and all of that, but when something jump off that's real personal to us, we always come together. And that's just how New Orleans is. We always come together. And what happened was, 
I talked to his son one day. I saw his son in the mall in Houston, and they was doing a show or whatever. And I don't even know if he knows this. And his son was like, oh, I remember you, dude. Like, you know, you and my dad was good friends, da 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 So we got to talking or whatever, and I kind of figured, like, I would not want your son to grow up in the world, like, you know, to, in, like, to just inherit something that's so stupid as, I hate you because my dad hates you, or, you know, vice versa or whatever. So I was like, you know, I can forgive whatever happened. Like, let's, let's move on. Let's just make the world and what we do a better place. And that's, that's kind of like, that's how it actually got started, the whole talks of doing this. Did you call him or he called you? Nah, he called me, you know what I'm saying? And I don't even know if he knew where, where the place where I was at that, you know, that made this happen. And I was like, yeah, let's do it. You know, no, 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 no um, fussing, no, you know, but I'm older now. And I understand that I'll get my people to represent me. You get your people to represent you and it could be done in a better way.